Comments were made in Parliament on Thursday over the Channel 4 programme. We don't need Channel 4 because the country knows what happened. The former head of state was overseas and was shopping. There is a God above. God has started to punish them. The first is Gotha Biraja Paksha. He was chased away from the country. There is another person who is trying to beg on the streets. All of them will be punished. There are many allegations from Channel 4 on the Easter attacks. I would like to tell this house that an international investigation is required. There is no point in appointing parliamentary select committees. Therefore, the government must agree with this. If we take a look at Saleh, during the 2010 presidential election, he got together with Bonses Pereira and detonated bombs. I believe he did it while in the intelligence services. There is no indication of his passport. As a powerful member of the intelligence service, he could have changed his passport to return to the country in 2019. He can even change the immigration records. A prince on the other side said they never had the time for this and they were always at the FCID. These actions were done over the phone. He said they had no links with a senior intelligence official. Saleh is a cleaner for that Rajapaksha family. Therefore, we have no suspicion over that. Back then, King Kalanithista sacrificed his daughter to the seas to prevent a disaster from taking place. So did Ibrahim sacrifice his daughter-in-law to make Gotha Bairaj Pakshi the president. Some media institutions and people who carry these tales forward assume that these lies will end the political journey of the Rajapakshas. Azad Maulana is a crook. If you ask from the people in Batiklo, they will say how he scammed people. Now when he is trying to seek asylum and making up these tales, if the people are deceived by these tales, then God bless them.